Maddie at the Sharon County Public Library and I'm here to share a story with you. This is a great story that I've discovered called Mummy Cat by Marcus Ewart, illustrated by Lisa Brown. The winds hiss over desert sand. The moon shines down on empty land and long ago The pharaohs hid their treasures in this pyramid. Deep within this maze of stone, a creature wakes up all alone. For the first time in a hundred years, he shakes off dust and flicks his ears. From head to tail, dry strips of cloth softly rustle like a moth. A cat who moves without a breath. A mummy cat who's passed through death. And one cold night each century, he gets up and he checks to see if she's come back, his loving friend, so that this lonely time can end. For she was the girl queen, Hatshepsut, and he'd been her hero not just her pet. The boldest cat ancient Egypt had seen. The number one cat, the cat of the queen. But now he feels old and small. He shuffles slowly down the hall. And all around are painted scenes of his past life with Egypt's queen. Mummy Cat purrs to see the smile of the young girl playing by the Nile. Two boats floated, but one ship sank, clawed by the cat on the riverbank. Or this mural of a noontime nap, dreams of mice on the queen's own lap. Their couch was set beside the pool the shade from date trees kept them cool. Here's Hatshepsut drawing with her palette of inks, and here he is posing a miniature sphinx. Marvelous scenes of the way things were when Mommy, Mummy Cat was alive with her. But the very next picture makes Mummy Cat wail. The queen struck down by a scorpion's tail. Mummy Cat knows he's not to blame, but he couldn't save her all the same. The scorpion struck both her and him. The poison spread from limb to limb. An end to dances, games, and feasts. Two small bodies wrapped by priests. The paintings stop, the cats alone, with silent dust and dull gray stone. Mummy cat slumps a little more, but up ahead there's a door. And through that door there is a room, the very center of the tomb, a chamber stuffed with lovely things, a crown, a throne, four golden rings, mirrors, dolls, and makeup kits, Nothing that matters the slightest bit. Nothing that matters except for the queen, her face on the coffin, smiling serene. This cold gloom coffin is all that he gets. Where is the girl he can never forget? Will tonight be the night that she comes back? Will the coffin open even a crack? He'll wait, he'll wait till his friend reappears, the queen of his heart. For 3,000 years. And at the end of this book is all about the history of the mummies that they had in Egypt, about cats, and then about the hieroglyphics that you see in this book. So if you reread this book, be sure to read all of the extras in it. And this was Mummy Cat.